Hello everybody, I'm Tits G and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to make a start at our trade GUI. As you can see I've created a new plugin and I've uh, registered a new executor for our trade command uh, inside the trade command class and inside the plugin.yml I have um, registered the trade command as well with the usage of slash trade request or accept you can either do both and if you type in request you also need to provide a player name if you do accept uh, you just can do trade accept and it will be a uh, one argument and otherwise it will be two so for trade GUI I want to create a custom inventory in which both players can put items player one can put items in the top and then there will be a dividing line of let's say glass play panes items you cannot click on and then player two will place items in the bottom part of the custom inventory and both will have a accept button and then they can press accept and the trade will swap the items automatically it will only be eight slots or nine slots i do not know yet where i'm gonna place the accept button either in the borderline or in the uh, parts of the custom inventory where players can put items but the thing is that I want to set this up so that if I send a slash trade request to another player the other player can slash trade accept it without typing my name behind it this way a player can only have one trade request at the same time and only online players will be able to send trade requests to each other so let's get into creating that as you can see i've uh, swapped out the custom i've made this custom like sender command label args i do not like the uh the first things that says over here so keep in mind that i change these so first thing first i want to check if the command is coming from a player so if sender is instance of uh, can type instance of player just like that and then control shift o to auto implement and then i want to return true because the player used the command so i can just return true might not be the best use of the return true command but i don't care so uh, inside of here as you can see we have two types of commands we have the slash trade request player name and slash trade accept so how to distinguish between those two uh, well i already explained that how to use uh, command arguments over here the string array args and we're just gonna do that because one has the length of two arguments and the other one has the length of one and let's start with the request and the player name so I'm gonna first check if args dot length equals two and then we of course we need to check whether the first argument is uh, saying request so if args zero dot equals request like that I've already explained this in another video if you do not know what I'm doing now just go check out that video and come back over here and then you will understand so now we know that our first argument is request but how about the player now over here I checked if it's instance of player I first want to do player p equals cast it to player the sender just because I might use that uh, in, in the future of this episode don't worry about it now so within here we've checked whether it is request so now we know it's request and we need to get the player name from the request command okay you can do this by uh, typing player uh, trade with because it's the player that you want to trade with equals bucket dot get player and now it says string name and then I want to do args1 because it's the first argument in the array uh, this is actually the first but because Java likes to start counting at 0 uh, 0 is actually 1 and 1 is 2 etc etc but now we have the player from the name but what if you made a typo let's say uh, you typed in a capital letter where you did not have to put a capital uh, then the, the whole trade will fail because the uh, bucket cannot find your uh, trade partner uh, so let's make a check for that so if bucket dot get online players because we want to know if the players online dot contains 
So we can check whether trade with is inside the online player. So whether the trade with player is online. Trade with. And if it does, then just leave it over here. And else, if it doesn't, we want to uh, say p dot set message send message, uh, and then we want to do args one because that's the player name you try to type in. Let's just distinguish that by using check color dot yellow, just to make it a little clearer. Org the bucket dot um, check color, of course, not the bungee net m5 etc check color dot white again plus make sure there's a space because otherwise you will get like glued up messages and you do not want that uh is not online like that so we checked if the player is online and now we're gonna check uh now we're gonna send the player a message so first send the player a message this is still the player that's uh, asking for a request, not the one who's going to be requested to trade with you. So we're going to do uh, you send a trade request to and double uh, that and then plus check color dot yellow plus args one. And what we want to do now is we want to have a system that can keep track of who is uh, requesting a trade with who. So if I request a trade with you, you uh, want to uh, type slash trade accept. The code needs to know who to trade with. And to do this, I'm actually going to create a hash map. And if you do not know what a hash map is, a hash map is like a, a list of... Uh, things I'm gonna do the type player player you can do any type you like player player request trade not in this case we need to have a player player uh, hash map and I'm gonna call it request to it and it's gonna be a new hash map of type player player and of course as always ctrl shift o to auto implement and what this says it's a hash map and if you know what an array is it hash map is kind of an array uh, but yeah but there's keys and there's values so in the or case uh, the first thing is the key so we input a player and then a value of uh, type player a variable of type player is linked to that value um, let me explain because let's say I want to trade with uh, a player then I'm gonna type slash request and then a name and then I'm gonna put that name inside of the hash map so we're gonna get the hash map with request trade request trade dot put so we're gonna put in a new uh, value and of course you, as you can see here it says player key player value and so we can do player key it's gonna be the player you want to trade with and the player value is going to be the other player. So we now stored a new key over here with trade with player. And then we can do um, p no trade with to send message because we also need to notify uh, the other player of the trade request. So we don't do check color dot yellow plus uh, your name. So p dot get name plus check color dot white of the bucket not the net plus wants to trade with you okay that's it as far as the part of the request goes uh, so we check if the length is two we checked if the first argument is request now we check if the second argument is actually a player that's online and if the player is online, we send them a trade message like that. And we create the hash map with key player and then the value of player as well, of player as well. And we put it in there. Uh, this will be clearer in just a minute when we create the trade accept command. So as far as the accepting part goes, we need to check if args.length equals one. So we're gonna click on uh, just Next to this little uh, curly bracket over here, and now you can see uh, Eclipse automatically shows you where the end is of or code within these brackets. So over here, I'm going to type else if, 
and then I'm going to check args.length equals equals one. So we only have one argument. And then I'm going to do if args zero, which is the first, dot equals uh, object is going to be accept, of course. And then I'm going to make the brackets. As you can see, slash trade accept over here, slash trade accept. And what we want to check, because now we swap, we, um, yeah, first it was us that is uh, requesting a trade with them. And now it's like us requesting a trade with uh, accepting a trade. So first we were in the second place. Uh, this is a little bit complex. Maybe you need to uh, first mess around with this a little bit before you understand. But first we were in the second place. You see P is over here. But now we're actually the trade with person because we accept. So we're in the first place. And what we want to check if it's accept, we want to check if hash map, so that uh, the, the, the request trade, request trade contains a key with our, uh, with our variable. So it contains a key with our player. So if uh, there's anything, uh, anyone who wants to trade with us, because we put the trade with person in the first place and then we're going to check, hey, are we in first place? Is there anyone who wants to trade with us? And if there is, uh, then we want to uh, execute code, execute code over here. And if there isn't, so if else, uh, we want to send a message to the player, send message, there's no one, there is no one that wants to trade with you. Just like that. Uh, and if there is, so if there is anything, we want to get the player that uh, sent you the request, so the second place. And to do that, we're gonna do request trade dot get, and then we need to uh, fill in our object key, which is gonna be the player this time. This will return the other player that sent the request. And of course, we need to store that in a player trade with variable and I will say it once again these are now swapped so um, first it was P on the second spot now it's P on the first place uh, it does not really matter but just uh, keep in mind that it is and of course in between the accepting and the requesting of the trade a player could have left so we are gonna first gonna check if bucket dot get online Players dot contains just as uh, before over here contains trade with them we're gonna open up the trade else we're gonna send a message to the player p dot send message uh, player uh, is not online anymore just like that for this episode because we're gonna finish this in the uh, next episode we only open up a shared inventory there's no restrictions on where players can put their items yet so we're gonna uh, get a new inventory so trade with if the player is online we're gonna create a new inventory inventory trade in equals bucket dot create inventory and the inventory holder will be null. The size will be size will be 27 because there will be nine slots on top and nine slots in the middle as a border, and the nine slots in the bottom as uh, the area for the other player to put items in. And I'm gonna call this trade inventory. Mind I do all uh, capital letters just because it looks nice in Minecraft. And of course, we need to implement that as well. And now all we have to do inventory is rnv or ivn all we have to do is p dot open inventory uh, open inventory over here then we're gonna do open the trade inventory just like that and I made the typo again inventory and then trade with dot open inventory as well trade inventory Okay, now we just need to do one more thing because uh, now we do not remove or request trade. So player is not online anymore. Then we can just uh, get request trade dot remove. Um, we can remove a 
key and that's the player key because we uh, th there's no player anymore that wants to trade so we can remove that trade request same thing with if we accept it over here we can also remove the trade request and that's actually it that's how you create the shared inventory and the requesting and accepting part in the next episode we will uh, create the restriction and the exception so we will finish this up and or maybe we will do two more episodes i don't know yet it, the episode should not get too long because that's kind of boring for you to watch it should be shorter episodes so that you can quickly check if you do not get anything of this part you can just quickly check skim through the video and then you've learned what you need to know and let's go check this out on the server as you can see we're inside Minecraft now start up the server and let's go take a look at what we have created Sadly, I'm alone on my server, so I have to accept my own trade request. So I'm gonna type slash trade request request. I can literally not type today. Request, and then I'm gonna type Grey Hunter 99. And then, as you can see, you send a trade request to Grey Hunter 99. Grey Hunter 99 wants to trade with you, and I can just type trade accept over here, and it will open the trade inventory. And if I had two Minecraft accounts, I could have just shown you that this inventory is actually linked up. So anything I do over here is done in the other player's inventory as well. And that's it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you've got any feedback or suggestions, just do it down below in the comment section. Or go down below in the, the, the description section and click on the link to a Discord. And join the Discord and put your suggestions and discussions and whatever you want to say over there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.